Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about the Color Shift Puzzle Ball. All right, so uh, this is a Father's Day gift for me, and I've had a blast with it. I really enjoy it. Now, what this is, is this is a puzzle, okay? Now, um, I got this thing. My kids gave it to me. I am a speed cuber. I solve what most people know as Rubik's Cubes. They're generally called speed cubes now. And I can solve a I can solve a speed cube in about a minute and 30 seconds, right? And it, it's a lot of fun. I've done it for years. I really enjoy it. But I get a lot of these hand puzzles. So my kids got this for me, right? And I'll show you how it works. So, like, it, it just snaps and these balls shift into different zones, right? So what I'm doing right now is I'm shuffling this, right? And so you can see that the ball, like this is the, you know, the yellow ball with the red ring, but it should have the red ring here, you know, which is now in the orange, right? So this puzzle has been shuffled and there's now a mystery to it. So I was using this thing and so then I was like, oh my gosh, how do I solve this thing? Because it was hard. I couldn't just solve it, right? So I looked up some algorithms, right? Well, nobody puts out algorithms on this. They say it's very simple, right? But I found it challenging. And it's and what I found was I found a lot of people saying, you know what this is? It's a fidget toy. And people say, oh, you can just grab this thing and you can click, click, click. And you can just move the balls around. And it's super fun. And I found more videos talking about the color shift puzzle ball as a fidget toy than I found anyone who could solve it. I found one guy, one guy, I think I think he's, I think he might be Russian, he had it, like a deep Russian accent, who did a very poor video about how to solve this that was not useful at all. But I appreciated the attempt, right? And the reality is, he was saying, hey, you know, uh, here's how to solve the Color Shift Puzzle Ball. What's interesting is, most people, most videos on the Color Shift Puzzle Ball are about using it as a fidget toy, all right? So let's get to the Dungeons and Dragons part, okay? What are you doing with Dungeons and Dragons? Are you using it as a fidget toy? Oh, is this is fun. Click, click, click. Who cares about solving it? Who cares about using it? Who cares about the mystery around it? It's just it's just a fidget toy, right? This isn't a fidget toy. This is a puzzle meant to be solved, right? It's the same with Dungeons and Dragons, in my humble opinion, right? So in 1974, Gary Gygax made what, in my humble opinion, is not a game, but a human improvement engine. And Dungeons and Dragons, in my humble opinion, was always meant by Gary Gygax to be to better yourself, better your community, and better the world. It is a human improvement engine. And you need to stop playing with it and start using it, in my humble opinion, because that's what Gary intended, right? And the reality is, and in my humble opinion, it's just complex, right? It's much easier to use Dungeons and Dragons as a fidget toy. Click, click, click. Oh, that's fun. But the reality is, there's a puzzle here. It needs to be solved, right? And that's exactly what Dungeons and Dragons is. It's a color shift puzzle ball that every other D&D commentator is telling you, use it like a fidget toy. Don't be better. Don't let it, don't take Dungeons and Dragons farther. Don't let Dungeons and Dragons take you farther. It's just a fidget toy. You can have a lot of fun with it, but you're missing the meaning. Now, I can solve this. I've solved it three times, but it takes about 10 minutes. So I'm not going to just subject you to me clicking this thing and going around and around and around until I find the algos, right? But I am I am pushing myself to find the algorithm so that I can you know do this in a minute and 30, right? Can't do that right now, right? But the reality is I'm trying, right? And that means... I am fundamentally ahead of people who think this is a fidget toy. This is not a fidget toy. This is a puzzle to be solved. Dungeons and Dragons, in my humble opinion, is not a fidget toy. It's not for you to have fun with. It's to leverage and use. All that's my opinion. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful millennium.